What is our environment? Our environment is the place we stay, we move, we live, we have our being in it. What do we get from our environment? We get our food, we get our water, we get oxygen to breathe. We get our shelter from our environment. What is pollution? Pollution is the contamination of our environment. There are four main types of pollution. You have water pollution, air pollution, land pollution, and noise pollution. Let's deal with each type of pollution. Water pollution happens when our water bodies get contaminated. What water bodies are we talking about? We're talking about the seas and the oceans, the lakes, the ponds, the rivers. This happens mostly due to industrial waste. Industries, big factories, tend to dump their waste into the oceans, which is very bad for the fish. And if we consume those fish, something wrong happens. There are harmful chemicals like mercury that come into the fish because of industrial waste. And if we consume the, those kind of fish in the long run, it's not good for our bodies. The fish also die consuming a lot of these industrial waste compounds. The plants of the oceans also get spoiled. What else can cause water pollution? Dumping our household waste, our garbage into the water bodies around us, like the rivers nearby, can cause the problem. Wash clothes and bathes in ponds. If we wash clothes and we bathe in ponds and we wash our animals in it, it's quite likely that we will cause water pollution. So the problems caused by water pollution include the animals and the birds suffer with illness. We fall sick with diseases like typhoid and jaundice if we drink contaminated water. Plants that live in water bodies are also affected. Coming to land pollution, how can the land that we stay in get contaminated? By throwing garbage in the open? Harmful fertilizers that are used by farmers that can damage the soil and the little organisms that are in the soil? The use of plastic bags, and the problem is plastic bags don't get degraded. So the government has ban banned plastic and we are asked to use other, other bags like cloth bags. Factory waste get dumped into the land many times, damaging the land and damaging the plants that grow in it. And even the food that we consume are, the, are coming from that, those plants. They are harmful to our body if we take, take in those. So the effects of land pollution include it harms organisms in the soil, the land becomes infertile. Noise pollution, when there is a lot of noise causing disturbance to people, it's called noise pollution. It's by the use of crackers, especially bombs, listening to loud music, the use of loudspeakers around us, disturbing everybody around us, honking of vehicles. In some countries, honking is not permitted at all. So what are the effects caused by noise pollution? You get irritated, you tend to have hearing problems and sleep problems as well. Air pollution is due to contamination of our air that we breathe in. And how does that happen? Mostly from smoke, from factories, from fumes of vehicles. That's why we are supposed to get a pollution control sticker for our car if we have to use it or we will be fined by the police. We cannot use cars that emit a lot of fumes. Firecrackers. Many cities have banned firecrackers in order to reduce air pollution. The burning of garbage and wood also causes air pollution. What are the effects of air pollution? It causes allergies like asthma and skin rashes. It slows the growth of plants because plants need to grab in carbon dioxide, emit out oxygen, and the ratio that they need is less than what is given to them in a contaminated air uh, atmosphere. Global warming happens because of a lot of carbon dioxide emitted as a result of air pollution. What can we do to save our environment? 
first of all, we can plant trees and avoid taking down trees in order to make our own paper. Electronic books are better preferred than books with paper. As far as possible, use ebooks rather than paper books. Walk or cycle more often instead of using cars. Use carpools, use metros, use electric cars instead of using cars that consume a lot of diesel or petrol. Don't use plastic. Avoid firecrackers. Save water. Don't let your tap run and uh, waste water because our resources are precious. Don't waste paper. That's the end of this lesson.